forward. Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you some domination gameplay on the plaza using the Swatty Swat Swatters customized with the fast mags and the adjustable stock, whatever you want to call it. Caption B flag, not getting any kills. Um, but using the SWAT here, uh, but using it f quite frequently since uh, the latest patch. Well, not the latest patch, because actually a new uh, update came out today. And it basically does nothing, in case you were curious, uh, in case you wanted to click on other people when they do the their update videos. R really, it's nothing. Just a bunch of weird little fixes and shit of stuff that never happens to you, or maybe happened to that one friend of yours that one time, but... Uh, that nothing nothing changing with the gameplay outside of like a couple of ambiguous spawn things that they talk about like a hard point hijacked spawn and uh, like spawns overall in capture the flag it's just useless and uh, a bunch of weird glitches that no one's really noticed which is good it's good it's, it's uh, nice to see that these they catch these things before uh, a lot of people notice um, get triple and then a two piece here on the B flag. Uh, getting score strings like a boss. Oh, attack insert, you're fucked. Oh my, all these capture kills go straight from spawning to get my V set just like that. Kind of call that puppy in and uh, take these people off the C, ideally. Stealth chopper, really shitty on, on Plaza. and But the load star is okay. So yeah, nothing nothing new with this, uh, with this latest update. Just to... Most most likely to just uh, prepare the game for the uh, DLC that's going to be dropping uh, six days from now. It's going to be on the on the 16th. Uh, looks like it's going to be the best DLC so far for the sole reason that firing range is coming back. We are getting firing range in the new DLC. It's called something else, like Backlot or something. It. Uh, it is fire range, but it just it looks different. Like the walls are. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be like some things like oh, there's something here in the corner that wasn't there before. Maybe this wall's a little higher or a little lower, but uh, the layout is firing range. So uh, that is going to be awesome. I don't really care about the other maps. They're probably going to suck. Uh, especially there's this one stage where uh, when Treyarch revealed it in the trailer, it was like, you want to camp here in the middle. The, you Camping is going to be really effective on this map. It's like, oh my god, you're an idiot. Why make a map that's really good for camping? I mean, it's, like that's going to be a, a unpopular a strategy from the get-go. It's just stupid. Um... But since the l update before the one that popped up uh, today, or I guess, no, actually early this morning, I think it was like at 2 a.m. or something. Uh, since the SWAT got the buff, I've been using it a lot more often. And it's a pretty useful gun now. Um, you can actually one burst people, which it couldn't do uh, before um, with any sort of consistency. Like maybe you can one burst if, if they were like six feet away and one was a headshot but one bursting was never as consistent as it should be and now i feel that it's a uh, it's as consistent as it should be it's a uh, it's pretty good as of course the fire rate they uh, they fixed two patches ago or then they fixed but they increased the fire rate a couple uh, updates ago so combine that with the damage boost that it's gotten from the last patch, um, this gun is quite usable. So, uh, you know, if you haven't used it um, since the updates, <laughs> give it a try. It's pretty good. Of course, it's it's still deadly as fuck with the select fire, as I made obvious in the last time I used the SWAT, I believe. Uh, gosh, using a fully auto is just ridiculous donkey ACR mode. Like, no skill required. It's going to get you a nuke like nobody's business. But without it, it is, uh, it's is—it's finally good. It's finally usable. It's finally a, uh, a decent choice as a gun. I still prefer it over the M8A1. Although the M8 is still going to be more popular. Obviously, it's going to be more popular with the fully auto mode because, I don't know, that thing is just a laser pointer. Um, but at the same time, more people seem to be using... I mean, I, I'm, I just picked up an M8 because I ran out of SWAT ammo because I was doing unexpectedly well with it, which is uh, always a nice surprise to have. Um, but the M8, uh, with its faster fire rate, I think is why it's more popular. 
I mean, I've even seen some uh, MLG guys using the M8 in like search and destroy games. And I don't really understand why none of them ever perform very well with it um, when you compare it to how well they perform with other guns. Um, but still, they use it. So that, I guess there's something to be said about that. Maybe I'm just missing the point here about the M8A1, but I just don't really like that gun uh, very much. It's not... It, it, it should, in my mind, act like the G11 did in the first Black Ops. It's got a faster fire rate than the other three bursts, but it's also going to be weaker. But, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to case to me. I really liked the G11 in Black Ops 1, and I also like the M16, and I'm not as big as a fan of the SWAT, which, you know, should be the replacement of the M16 for all intents and purposes, and the M8, which, you know, should fulfill the role that the G11 filled um, in the first Black Ops, but it just doesn't seem to be that way, to me at least, to me. I'm, I can't speak for everyone, obviously. Um, but those are, that's just my thoughts coming here up on the C flag. Shooting lots of people, getting a lot of hit markers and misses because all that smoke. And the SWAT iron sights aren't the best in the world. They're, they're pretty good. I don't like the whole circle front post or back post, I guess. Um, the stick is fine as far as the front iron sight post goes, but I don't understand why they get put so many circle posts in, in so many things. Uh, like the... Uh, the, 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 the ballista iron side it's also got that weird circular uh, back post as well so up here my lodestar doing minimal damage because uh you know the entire enemy team has dashboarded we're on like our second batch of uh of people to kill and that hasn't even filled up i think there's only like three players on the enemy team at this point and with all the plethora of buildings in plaza especially the wub wub club um, there's not going to be very many spawn points that are going to be uh, easy targets for the for the Lodestar. Uh, but get easy victory there once again. Uh, if you guys have not checked out my episode 1 of my Let's Play of the Black Ops 2 campaign, uh, check that out. I don't know why the screen is fucked up. Like it's smaller than usual, but of course you can just make the screen, you know, expand that. Uh, if that's really that big of a problem to you guys. But check that out. Let me know if you want to see more of that. My final score here is 30 and 5 with 7 captures, 13 defense. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.